we are learning more and more about the Galaxy S Fay, and through a new report, we have been able to find out the launch month of this highly anticipated device. Remember that Fay editions mean fan edition, so these are editions where Samsung cuts the price by slightly adjusting some of the specifications. In this case, the report comes from ET News, which is a South Korean media outlet, so they are very close to Samsung. It is said that the Galaxy S Fay will be presented in October. In fact, the same report also mentioned that the Galaxy S will hit the market in December. But let's focus on the Galaxy S Fay, for which official images were also recently leaked, allowing us to see more clearly how Samsung is reducing the bezels of this device, in addition to integrating completely straight aluminum frames on the back cover. It would have a very traditional minimalist design as Samsung has accustomed us to, with the three cameras highlighted. However, it seems that the front bezels would not be symmetrical, as the bottom bezel would still be a bit thicker. However, there would be an improvement in thickness compared to the previous generation according to what can be seen. Additionally, the color palette would include green, a dark gray edition, a light gray edition very close to white, a yellow edition, and also a blue edition, such as and. The circular cutoff for the camera would also be better adjusted than the previous generation. From what can be distinguished, it would have Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection and an aluminum frame. So here there would be some small sacrifices to adjust the price compared to the standard Galaxy S model, where we see Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and obviously much smaller bezels. However, it would maintain the IP level of water and dust resistance. Its screen would be 6.7 inches with full HD resolution, capable of reaching up to 120 Hz in its refresh rate, and its peak brightness would be 1,900 nits. In this aspect, we would also see that the screen might not be as bright as the high-end models, but I think it can still give you a good experience. A leaked image reveals that the thickness of the bezels would be 99 millimeters, although possibly referring to the side bezels. There is another leaked image that reveals the camera specifications. The front camera would be 10 megapixels, while the ultra-wide camera would be 12 megapixels, the main camera 50 megapixels, and the telephoto camera 8 megapixels with 3x optical zoom. It is said that the battery would be slightly larger than 4,500 milliampere hours. This would be another of the sacrifices because it seems that it won't have such an attractive battery. While the processor would be the Exynos 2400, that is, the same processor used in the Galaxy S24, which would be quite good in a device with a more adjusted price. While we are not convinced about using this processor in the Galaxy S24, I think it becomes much more appealing in a device that is much more affordable. This device would come with one UI 6 based on Android 14 with some Galaxy AI features, and its price is said to be between $649 and $699, which means there would be a price increase compared to the previous generation. However, remember that a leak is not an official presentation, but I believe we are very close to having these specifications officially, because many of them are confirmed in the leaked images. It will surely be a device that also maintains support for wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, although it should also be considered that Samsung has been quietly removing some features lately. For example, the Galaxy Watch 7 can no longer be charged on the back of the phone with reverse wireless charging, and this is something they didn't mention, which we only found out when we started testing the devices. So I wouldn't rule out the possibility that Samsung might remove reverse wireless charging from this Galaxy S Fay to save some costs. I hope they don't do it, but it could be. So now you know, we'll have to wait until October to know its official launch. A specific day is not yet known, nor is it known if Samsung will hold a Galaxy event, a pact, or simply present the device through official statements. We will keep waiting for that information, and as soon as I know it, I will let you know.